Hey, Felix, you free? You don't look very busy. Let's go find some girls to chat with. Chat with them by yourself. You're interrupting my training. Hey, come on. Don't talk like that. How long have we known each other? Long enough, if you ask me. We only know each other because of our parents' friendship. I didn't have a say in it. Is that how it went? Huh. I remember it more like you always following me around. Whenever there was something wrong, like you lost to your brother, or you fought with Dimitri, you'd come crying to me. You were so meek and pure back then. Cute even. Like a baby brother. That's enough. What? I said that's enough! Hey, sorry. I just came to see if you wanted to pick up some girls. I didn't mean to get on your nerves. Look, you've been getting on my nerves for years. I've tried to be patient with you, but I'm tired of holding my tongue. You're reckless in your personal affairs and in battle, and you're always prattling on about women. Well, if a man sees a pretty girl, he can't just let her pass by without commenting. That's just rude. You're insatiable. Do you ever stop? Certainly not to practice your sword technique. You always skip training. And you never consider how your actions hurt others, or how you hold them back. That's never my intention. Come on, y you know me better than that. I'm not really... Look, if that's the impression I've given you, then I'm sorry. Hmm. Sylvain, I want to apologize for the other day. The other day? What are you talking about, Felix? Is this a trap? You know, when I called you insatiable. Oh, that? Can't say it didn't hurt, but you have nothing to apologize for. I mean, you've said worse, Felix. Considerably worse. Come on, we've known each other since we were kids. We're not gonna let your constant verbal abuse get in the way of our friendship, are we? No, I suppose not. Whenever I started doing something dumb, you'd yell at me about it. And whenever you dragged me into something, Ingrid would find out and start lecturing us. All these years, and not much has changed, has it? But you're different, Felix. You used to be so... I don't know, carefree when we were young? Now you're the exact opposite. Well, you're not any different. Good for nothing then, good for nothing now. Again with the abuse. This from the guy who's always been by that good for nothing side. So, did you come to apologize or to insult me? I was on my way to train and I saw you. That's all. You're off to train again? Now who's insatiable? Better than sitting idle like you. A little idleness would do you some good, pal. Come on. Let me buy you something to eat. No. You have to choose, Felix. Our friendship, or your training. My training. <laughs> Goodbye for now. What did... Is he... Wait, Felix. I'll come train too. Wait up. Sylvain, eat these. What are these, Felix? Oh, hey, is this candy? A girl in town gave them to me, but I don't want them. Right, you don't like sweet stuff. Thanks, I'll eat them later. So, what do you need? Want me to help you get closer to a girl? Just point her out. You're incorrigible. No, I wanted to thank you for your help in battle. If you hadn't spotted that enemy ambush, I would have been killed. Nah, I didn't do anything special. Friends help each other out, especially on the battlefield. Just a little give and take, you know? You never change. Nope. I try to stay on an even keel. You're always... Always what? <sighs> Nothing. Come on. If you've got something on your mind, then say it. Maybe I'll tell you later, maybe I won't. Fair enough. I'll be having something to eat while you're deciding... whatever it is you're deciding. Actually, come with me. My treat. If you do want to talk, then I'm right there. Okay, just this once. Only because you saved my life. Free food, possible conversation, and when we're done, we can find some girls. 
Uh. It was a joke! Felix, I was joking! Come on, let's just go eat. Sylvain! Hey, Felix. I'm glad you're safe. You irresponsible fool! Protecting me like that? You're so weak and yet you always... always... Look, it doesn't matter. As long as you're safe. You can go on living. While I... Stop kidding around! You're not going to die. I won't let you! <laughs> nah, I won't die on you. I promise. You think something like this could kill me? No way. A little magic will take care of the wound. Some bed rest, then I'm good to go out and do it all over again. Sylvain! Oh, come on, that was funny. It's not like you to be so concerned. <sighs> you really are a fool. The biggest in all of Fodlin. I thought something was off. There's no way you could die from such a small cut. You're so reckless and inattentive. I thought this might be divine punishment. Hey, that's not nice. You should be thanking me. I am grateful. You've been doing this since we were children. Constantly fooling around, but then showing up and helping when we really need you. I'll admit, seeing that smile on your face, I almost want to give you a hug. Almost. A hug? Did you get hit on the head? Come on. Tell me you want to hug me again. I liked it. I won't be repeating it, you halfwit. You're obviously fine, so I'll leave now. You know how we grew up together? <sighs> obviously. Do you remember the promise we made when we were kids? About sticking together until we die together? I remember. Well, I'm really not trying to get myself killed before you. You know that, right? I know. I know. But I'm tired of these close calls. You have to stop fooling around. Take your training more seriously. You can die whenever you please, but I'm not going down with you. Okay, I get it. Once I've healed, I'll get my act together. <laughs> then I hope you have a speedy recovery. Sylvain, thank you. That's what friends are for, Felix.